Several people have been asking about my bookshelves. So I thought I would make a video to show you one of my bookshelves. So this is one of my bookshelves. It has math books on it, um, physics books, and probably other subjects as well. There's a computer science book there, matrix algebra, so all kinds of books on this bookshelf. And the reason this one is here is because um, the ones that you sometimes see behind me in the videos, those are in a different side of the room and there's no more room there on the wall for more bookshelves. It's completely covered. So I had to put a bookshelf on this wall. And let me give you a closer look so you can see this bookshelf, by the way, I'll leave a link in the description in case you want to check out this exact bookshelf. So I'll put a link in the description to the one I bought. And I think it's pretty good quality. Um, you, you do see there is like some slight bowing uh, that happens with pretty much all my bookshelves because some of these math books are really thick. I mean, look how thick this is. This is Algebra and Trig by Sullivan, super thick book. So you get a lot of thick books on a bookshelf and you're gonna get uh, a little bit of bend, but I think it's a pretty good bookshelf. Putting it together is not hard. You do need a hammer because um, the back, you hammer that on with like these little nails that it comes with and it comes with pretty much everything else. As long as you have like basic tools, um, you should be able to put it together like a screwdriver and stuff. Um, but it's been a while since I put this one together, but I remember it being fairly easy. Uh, it's not difficult. If I can do it, uh, most people can do it. But yeah, this is one of my bookshelves. Uh, this is where I keep some of my books. And there's books all the way to the bottom. Even if you go all the way to the bottom, you see I have books way down there as well. So tons of books, uh, seems to work pretty well. Yep, hope it's been helpful. Take care.